For some reason, when I started up, I was imagining the. Yeah, our guy. Looks oh awesome. my! This is so sick. It's the Abyss Watcher's cloak, and you can see the uh, the tendrils of the abyss crawling up the the tips of it. Damn. Pretty cool. This is so cool. I tried to explore more of Anno Londo, but sadly, a lot of it is cut off. Oh, it's I mostly see. just the main hall. But I forgot last stream, and I remembered this stream. There's another thing. There's another thing. There's a fun little thing. So you may notice over there. Oh. There's a bonfire. There is a bonfire over there. No, it it really doesn't look like there's a, much of a way to get over there. Huh. But what's that? <gasps> there's, there's a an surface there. Thing. Interesting. What in the Sam hell? So this is just something you're supposed to figure out, I guess, or like look up on the wiki. What? It looks like we're like hacking. It right? does. It looks like glitch. Yeah, yeah. You just oh, roll there? down here. Is there somebody frozen in a chair? <laughs> I think she's just, like, really pale. She's like a ghosty lady. Oh, she's Zelda. Yeah, she is, oh, I guess. Princess Zelda's here. She's kind of cute. Stranger. She looks a little corpsey. How did the fuck did you get here? So she's Captain of the Dark Moon Knights. That was Dark Sun Gwendolyn's thing. Wow. Oh, why give us her. the fucking... Why give us any prompt if the only prompt is do nothing? <laughs> Tower's a prison? Tower's a prison? Yeah, there's a thing right there that you can walk on. I was locked in here by my godmother, and I am guarded by a dragon. At night, I turn into an oh, ogre. No. My name is Fiona, and this no! is Shrek. No! 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 Oh! <laughs> my body rejected that. <laughs> okay, so we can't do shit. It's gonna be stuck in my head. Ah! I assure you. This hat is so big we can't see jack shit. Yeah. Oh. Looks like a little sorting hat on top. It's like a thick sorting hat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's the sorting hat's fat ant. We just got the guys who were on the bal the battlements of yeah. the original in Orlando, right? Yeah, painting They're guardians. Clothes. Yeah. That's cool. Cool little ref. Astute observation. Okay. Oh, fuck! Oh, oh. All intentional. Oh. I'm gonna take a fat sip. Maybe you take a sip. Oh, no. <laughs> that is a yeet. That is a yeet right there. Just the tower starts Look at my leg! Down. Look at my leg! This is not how gravity works! You don't just stand like that all the time? Maybe if you have really good core strength. <laughs> oh, hey! Oh, hey, it's this room! It's pointless! What the? Could this be? No, it's not. I know it isn't. Oh. You remember this room? We went up here and we were like, huh? And then we left. No. It's in Irithyll. Oh! We did this. Okay! Irithyll and, uh, in Orlando are connected. <laughs> Okay, interesting. So what was the point of that, uh, tower? We got stuff! Oh, that's right, we got the painted. The yeah! Painted. Okay, that's right. I see. There's probably something else you can do with that chick, I don't Maybe. Know. Yeah, what a strange, like, random NPC to just have. I think she's a covenant leader, and I think if we have a certain, like, ring or some mm. bullshit... That would be my guess. Which one was Super Mario Land? So that was the Yoshi one, right? Nope. Mario Land is the one where you're rescuing Daisy in Saras Land, and the bad guy's an alien. No you may not have played it. It's one of the lesser. It. It's one of the lesser known ones. It's like in black and white on the Game Boy. Oh no, I don't think I have played that actually. Oh god. Okay. I was thinking of Mario World. Yeah, Mario World is infinitely better than Mario Land. In Mario my is sick. Humble opinion. Whoa. Fuck you. And the horse you rode in on. Ba, 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 ba. I'm. Oh god. I'm not gonna be able to stop. That's gonna be the new thing. The Shrek soundtrack is just so damn good. <sighs> It doesn't have any right to be that good. Nope, it does not. He's he's rolling. He's yeah, still he's going. Tumbling. I, I killed these guys a few times uh, off stream. So much better now. Uh, and they they usually take a little tumble. He's still rolling. Let's see. Let's get this guy going too. Yeah, there we go. Ew. <laughs> oh man, but that guy dropped. They always drop some sort of titanite. That's nice. It's pretty cool. Oh, look at him. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. Let's roll down the hill. Uh, man, I miss the days when you could just, like, roll down a fucking hill on your side, just for, like, enjoyment. <laughs> yeah. You do that as an adult, people are like, are you alright? Do you need help? And then also you're like, ouch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired. I need a nap in an Advil. Stat. <laughs> Here we go. Aldrich, devourer of, all right. of God. Devourer of fuckface. Also, some people made a correction. I was mistakenly saying that he was carrying 
Priscilla's weapon. Is that not true? Uh, and that he summoned like that scythe that he made come out of nowhere was uh, was Nito's. Oh fuck, that has a pretty decent hit. Yeah. Can you right in front of him? But uh, it's the other way around. This weapon is cross. Oh, Nito's. Weapon. This is Nito's weapon. Oh fuck. And uh, the other one was Priscilla's. I see. Yeah. It kind of. I mean, it was a scythe. So, so skulls. Skulls. That's like that's as far as my brain processed that <laughs> before I was like, yep, that's good. That goes to the mouth. That works straight away. He's on fire now. Oh fuck. Okay. So what do I do for this? Oh god, it follows a lot better too. So I think this I'm one just gonna run away. Oh Holy fuck shit. me. So with the other one, you can just here you go. You can just go behind it. Yeah. The, well, the other one you can just dodge to the side and it's fine. But that one follows you. Way better and goes for way longer, so I think just run. Run, yeah, I guess so. Let me in, let me in! I saw Detective Pikachu. Yeah, was it... Uh, Five out of ten. I was gonna say, was it kind of just trash? It wasn't like trash, but it I wouldn't say it was good. Just like every other movie. Oh yeah, that's a wind-up. Ooh, okay. Hit him in the sluggage. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. that's a wind-up. Okay! Woohoohoohoo! Oh! oh. Oh, he did like the guardian ape thing. Did not just yeah. I mean, like wiggle around. Wiggle room. All right, I'm back on the, back on that grind. I am go. I. It's kind of weird that we lost twice, even though we have the big hat. We do have the big hat. Like I don't really get what's going on. I thought that uh, something's weird. It has to be a glitch. Yeah, I think it's a. This guy's hacking. He's using action replay. Oh my god, action replay. Ooh. I has an RCS. I got my action replay out the other day. And I had a grand old time playing it. I forgot. I like. I never owned one, but I have like enough friends that have. Yeah. That was like blew my mind as a kid that you could like hack yeah. the DS. Like I was like, what? Yeah. DS games are like really janky too. Like yeah. a lot of them have glitches that are like really easy to do. I would do them in Mario 64 or DS and shit. Same. I did a ton of the glitches in Mario. Did you? 64 okay. DS. Did you ever? find the one, this is one where like I found it on my own, which is like all the more like, oh, yeah. it happens, but uh, it was in Snowman's Land with the, when you lose your cap, when you get blown off the top of the snowman, and then it like reappears on like being worn by one of the little snowmen that's like at the base. Do you remember this? Uh, it sounds vaguely familiar. You go to the top of the snowman and he's like, Oh, th I think there's a piss ant on me. I'm gonna blow it away. He goes like, ooh, and then you fucking fly away. Like, <laughs> yeah. And uh, your hat comes off. And your hat comes off and then it like it spawns, to get it back, it spawns on a snowman at the bottom of the thing. And if you just do that, get your hat, uh, like, if you just do it twice, you don't even really have to, uh, okay, okay. Holy but, shit. Uh, this is a bad time to be explaining this glitch, but uh, <laughs> you just like do it multiple times and it makes like a fuck ton of hats appear the next Hell. time you do it. And like it does it so much that it like slows the game down. It's so funny, it's really easy to do. And uh, yeah, I just did that the other day until like like almost got the game to crash. It was like it was really resolute. Like, it would not- oh my god. It would not fucking crash. You're like, die, game, Yeah, die. it was so- it was so slow at that point. Fuck you, man. I'm gonna just run circles around him. That's a good idea, right? He's just gonna shoot me with one of his little balls, dude. Oh, god. Fuck you. Oh, a fire! Not my little fire, Scarecrow! Yeah, that's good. Oh, that's damn, the good. fire actually hurts. All right. It feels good. Mm -hmm. It's warm. Mm -hmm. Love it. Can't get enough. You can't get enough of it. Those are Cold Stone flavors. Oh, God. Like it, love it, gotta have it? Like it, love it, gotta have it. Are those, like, the sizes? Yeah, it's, like, the sizes. Like, that's so flavors. stupid. Also, I would name my triplets like it, love it, and gotta have it. <laughs> yeah, that is stupid. Better than like Grande, Ariana, and whatever the hell the other Starbucks flavor is. Yeah, Mariah Carey or whatever. Mariah Carey. This is good. You're doing good. Kill him. Kill him. Avenge my death. Oh, just run. Run, 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 run. Oh man, I don't know how to. Yeah, that is a terrible move. Get away from that. It's. I was like trying to do like run around, but it's yeah. so wide. Yeah. Oh, this move. Look at that. that He's so weird. cool. 
I mean, as cool as a cosmic horror meat slug can be. Dislike it, hate it, can't live with it. Get it away from me. Those are the hot stone flavors. I love Cold Stone. I also love having money. That's true. So you can see the bind I'm in, you know? <laughs> I would eat ice cream all the time if I if it didn't Ouch. if I couldn't actively feel my arteries clogging. <laughs> I felt, uh, you know what I felt recently? Tightness in my chest. Whoa. You don't want that. You don't want you that. You don't want that. That's so I'm going to do a little more exercise, I think. I, d I know I'm not having a heart attack at the ripe old age of 23, but, uh, you know, <laughs> it still it still makes me nervous. Oh, he's really wibble wobbling around. <laughs> just don't don't do anything forever. Yeah, I was going to say, just let me hit you for years. That was like one instance, and he's probably gonna be flaming. Yes, flame and good. Kind of wish it would happen. Oh, only at. Oh. Uh, fine. It's just fine. Only at actually halfway through his health bar, rather than like kind of near. Kind of near. Yeah. Are you a coffee or a tea guy? Me? Yeah. Question that was asked. I guess I prefer tea. Coffee uh, makes me feel weird. I always get bad, like, shits. Like, really mm, soon, really soon after, and it's not like I poop a lot. It's like bad, unsatisfying poops. Oh, uh, yeah. As, as I've gotten older, unsatisfying poops are much more common. It, it, that's, that's the worst part about growing up. The thing so, that nobody ever told you. I, I've, I've not experienced issues with that. Maybe I just need more fiber in my diet. I eat a ton, so, you know, my poops are probably pretty amazing <laughs> most of the time. But when I drink coffee, it's just like, I don't know what's going on. I don't really feel any, like, noticeable uptake in energy, to be honest, either. Whereas with tea, I kind of feel, like, calmed and revitalized, even if it might just be, like, placebo or just I drank something warm. I don't mind. Like, placebo, it still works, yeah. so I don't care. Yeah, I feel exactly the same way. There's that move! The scythe move. I hate that move. Give it a cheeky spank. You spank that butt. I thought you were gonna go go over here, you you poo poo man. Oh god, oh uh, god, oh god. Ah! <laughs> oh god. Oh my god! Nice, that was actually sick. Uh, I'm still gonna die! Don't spawn more balls! He spawned more balls! Oh, this is how it happened last time, though. Just don't jump. Piece of shit! No! You suck! You suck! Oh my god! Ah! Yes, again! Oh my oh, god, I did it. Holy shit. I was so worried that that my didn't get My eyes were him. like bugging out of my freaking head. <laughs> oh, we get a cutscene. Oh, oh right. It's, uh, I think it's because it's the third Lord of Cinder that we got. Ah, unkindled one. Who dis bitch? Ooh, my heart. The fire fades and awaits its one last lord. Hey, is that, is that me? Is that me? Is that big hat me? Big hat boy. Oh, oh my god. Are you teleporting? It's Lothric. We're out of there. Man, I, you know, Dark Souls 3 feels like the perfect level of, like, difficulty for me, where it's, like, mm -hmm. rewarding. It's it feels like rewarding to get past something, but it's, like, still a decent challenge. I like it. Yeah. So this is a thing. Man, what the hell? Who's so that? So remember this bitch? This is in this room, right across the street from Vort. Uh, oh, the guy who was praying to the statue behind this statue? Ye no. This is... In like in one of the first areas, mm -hmm. but this bitch is about to uh, be Kill like, over. "Oh, I'm dying! Fucking take whatever I have." Do we get to kill her? Uh, we get to kill something after getting killed by something. Mm -hmm. A lot of times. Oh, Lord. Uh, Basin of vows. Okay, cool. Why? The way of blue. We can do Basin. something here. But I'm gonna go use our souls first. Good idea. Okay. Well, there's, oh, there's guys people. Here. There's guys. Oh, I kind of remember where this is now. Yeah. I'm just gonna run past. Fuck. Let's do a couple in endurance. Oh, that's as much as we can do. All right. You good with that? That's good. All right. Let's get that end. 
end. All look at all of our physical defense. It's all one one one. Whoa, pretty amazing. Yeah, that is powerful. I gave this bitch some umbral ash because ah, bitches right. love umbral ash. Bitches love umbral ash. And that's how I got. What are those the, thick thighs? That's Smau. We oh. buy Smau's equipment, and we can also buy Lautrex shit. Or no, this is Shiva from the first game, and I got the Abyss Watchers cloak for like a billion dollars. Sick. We can go look at um, the one guy's weapons, the boss weapon guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. True. I forgot about him. What's his name? Lucifer Lornthrix? Some bullshit? Something like that. Lucifer Lord Lornthrix. Ludwig. Hold on. Ludwig von Kuhn. Ludlith! How did I forget? Uh, he's so small. I think he just doesn't have legs. Yeah, I think probably. Either that, or maybe he's like sitting on his legs. No? Never mind. Yeah. Begin the transposition! Oh, hey, it's Life Hunt Scythe. Oh, that's that thing we... Let's take a look at this. Miracle of Aldrich, Devourer of Gods. Oh. Aldrich dreamt as he slowly devoured the god of the Dark Moon. In this dream, he perceived the form of a young, pale girl in hiding. Okay. Interesting. And that's uh, probably crossbreed Priscilla. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, actually, I want to show you something cool with Ludlith. All right. If we kill him... Yeet! <laughs> oh, he's not dead. Yeet! <laughs> We got an item! Oh, he's dead now. We got the skull ring! Wow. You, you killed him. Uh, and if... It's fine, though, because if we sit at a bonfire, he comes back. Oh. Because he's undead or whatever. Oof. There he be. He's still dead. Is he? Maybe if we reload the area. <laughs> I know he comes back. <laughs> God damn. Don't scare me like that. And I already know we don't have enough to level up this thing. I actually got us a new shield. This is oh, cool. the Shield of Want, which I think is a Dark Souls 2 thing. That's cool. Because they were all like, want, 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 want. <laughs> They're so... Look at that! Oh my god, look at that. Howdy, partner. <laughs> Yeehaw. Let's go, man. God, they, it looks that so goofy. so goofy. I wanna, I think when I see this out here, I just want to drink it. It's a bottle of Kikoman soy sauce, for reference. We could take soy sauce shots on stream. Actually, uh, here, you want to play? Oh, sure. You just gotta go up to the top of that place, and, uh, there's a little altar there where you do a thing. Or actually, oh, fuck! I think we have to offer... I forgot to put the souls on the... on the thing. You remember on the throne? Oh, the that's skull. right. Of the, uh, that's here, right. You, you do that. I'm you sorry, I, I wasted down. a bunch of time. There's no such thing as time. Yes, there is. This, and this, and this. And that's all time. That's all time. He's alive. Sure about that? He looks the same as he did when he no, said he was like dead. keeled over before, and now all he's right. back to having his ponder. Arms. You can tell it's Aldrich's because it's wrapped in fucking like plastic. Oh, switch action. There we go. <laughs> Read or offer cinders of a lord. Oh, this? his skull is all fucked up. Ew. It's all like rotted. Oh, gross. Oh yeah, I see. It's like half a skull. Yeah. Gross. Oh, what's Ludlith was just saying something. Oh, was that him? Was he talking? He's asleep right now. You can hear him talking in his sleep. He said, it singeth to the bone, it hurts. Interesting. It's referencing, I think, uh, how he's a... Every one of the Lords of Cinder, like, burned when they became a Lord of Cinder, when they, like, offered their soul to the flame. Oh, God. And so he's having, like, PTSD to that. Woo. Yeah. Lovely. Nothing like nightmares. Yeah! Let's pray to the... Oh, that is a lot of blood. Well, the lady died. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, that better be a thing to do here. Is this guy cutting his throat with his sword? Like yeah. Like some weird-ass seppuku? Yeah. And all the other statues are holding their heads. This is a really cool... Whoa. Boss. A boss? Spooky! Hey, what do you think it is? It's a cutscene in a big-ass <laughs> room. It's true. Uh-oh. That's juice. What the f- That's juice! <laughs> what? Whoa. It's another Outrider night. Whoa. It's long. Yeah. Whoa. What a wicked blade. It is. It is a wicked blade. <laughs> it probably fucking says that in the item description. Yeah. Oh my god, that is creepy. Yeah, it, this is a spooky boss. Oh, watch out. That is a grab, oh. and it's an instant kill. That did not last long. Welcome to Dancerville. This boss is hard. I'll give this a couple stabs, but we might want to go do some side, st side stuff. That works with me. You know? 
But it, you I know, rolled right into that grab. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's that that grab can also like even if you're like behind her, she'll just go like <laughs> and like snatch you up. It's God. fucking terrible. Whoa. Yeah, cool music too. She's kinda like those guys with like the yeah. billowy cloak and the big long sword. She's supposed to be reminiscent. She's thick too. Oh, that's the grab. She kind of does a little like I, I like the telegraph for the grab is like burned into my memory because I died to it so many times. What is this? It's hard to tell what's a wind up and what isn't. It's not safe to heal right next to her, but you know, you do what you I, did do. It, I did it anyway. Oh, okay. She left like marks. Yeah, her. she's a marksman. Marksman. TF two. TF2. Fuck. I knew I would get <laughs> fucking hurt for my greed there. Yeah, she makes like echoing steps. Oh, that's the grab. Fuck! Also, the cathedral's like burning in the background. Oh, I didn't even notice. Yeah, it took me a while to notice that. This is what I would consider the actual like Ornstein and Smao of this game. Oh, like the hardest one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and bearing in mind that I haven't played all the DLC, and actually, no. There's another boss that I think is harder in the base game. Good lord. There's a there's a boss that I never beat. That will battle now, well, well, in the first in the base game, and we will encounter them during this playthrough, and that'll be a, just a boatload of fun. It's an awesome boss, but uh, very very hard. And it's one of those ones that has like a bunch of phases. I think it only has two, but it's like two health bars, which I don't appreciate on the really difficult shit. Also, I think this room, if you get her to, like, you notice she, you got her to hit that pillar and now it's on fire. Oh, yeah. And I think the fire will, like, spread and shit. And they made, like, fire spreading mechanics and, like, only used it in this room and nothing else. Jesus. It's very strange. Uh-oh. Spooky music, her footsteps going like... Dum, dum, dum. Oh, I'm trying to, like, figure out her yeah. moves. Yeah. Just do all one of your, all your moves. She also ha do one of every move. She's also kind of like the guardian ape in that it's a little hard to predict yeah. her movements. That's the grab. Wow, this is scary. Yeah, she's so, menacing. Oh, yeah, very menacing. The, like, just gently, like, pacing around. Like, yeah. She doesn't, like, directly, like, walk towards you. Yeah, she, she knows the strafe game. She's played the PvP. That is such a weird oh, okay. wind-up. Holy shit. Alright, I'm gonna give this one more go, and yeah, you can give it another one if you want. I'll go somewhere else. Alright, cool. She was doing a weird spin there for yeah, a second. Yeah, that was interesting. Let's, let's look here. What the fuck? It looked like her model <laughs> froze. And then she fucking... Very strange. I am rotating. Wow, she's so weird looking. Yeah, she like gets on her knees to do that. I love, like... Something that I think is, like, underutilized in horror is, like, movement. Yeah. Fucking Haosu ass shit. Oh, this is the second phase, I think. Right? No. Maybe not. Oh, if she misses the grab, she has a little backhand. I think that was a different move. I think there's a move where she just does, like, two slaps. Yeah, so this is another Pontiff Sullivan creation. And he and and this one is particularly fucked up because he she was like personal, like assigned to be like a personal dancer to him, which is also kind of carries like an escort yeah uh, connotation. Oh fuck! Oh god damn it! And then he gave her like one of the like rings or whatever that uh, that turned her into a fucked up thing and was like, hey, defend the fucking realm. Uh, the realm. Yeah, exactly. the realm of man. All right, let's see. Where is the abyss watcher place? Uh, it's oh. the one that says Abyss Watchers. <laughs> wow. Wow, oh, that, that fucking sick. cape, dude. Cape billowing in the breeze. Amazing. Weird. Maybe we need to do more. Or, like, come from outside? I kind of doubt it. Alas. Chat, when does the thing happen? We've know. tried this, like, ten billion <laughs> times. Oh, that's right. We gotta go. We still have to kill that guy, right? Yeah, the old Demon King. And then if we want to, we can fuck up the Ballista here. I do want to fuck up the Ballista, actually. You know? I want to end its reign. This is just me addressing chat. I thought that we needed to do the thing with the Abyss Watchers to get the thing to go to the place. Rather than you can fight him after you go to the place and get the thing. 
This you is know? spoiler free. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is uh, <laughs> copyright free. Okay. What are you looking over there for? One-eyed Willy. I listened to the soundtrack to Under the Skin this morning. Good soundtrack. And I, I was just like in a weird good mood all day from it. Like that's uh, that's like the kind of horror movie where I don't even like. It's scary, but it doesn't make me feel like shit after I watch it. Yeah. I was kind of yeah, like, I kind of like the shit feeling. Yeah. I, yeah I'm one of those guys. Uh, I, uh, I already That's feel scary. like shit just all the time. <laughs> I don't need more of it. Okay. Oh, okay. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Bonk. Okay. Bonk. I think that like melancholy or like, like even cosmic horror. Oh, he's glowing. Doesn't necessarily. It's not necessarily a bad feeling for me. Uh, I've just seen a lot of like horror movies, I guess. Oh, yeah. Shit. Oh, you're fine though. What oh. the hell? <laughs> Do that again. Oh, he's casting a spell. Oh, I see. Meteors are gonna come down. Okay. Just gonna walk around for a little bit. You? Yeah. But yeah, I think I've just seen like a lot of horror movies. So like, when it makes me like feel bad, I'm like, now that's what I want out of horror movie. <laughs> There's one I saw, a movie I saw called Krisha. Yeah. About, and it's not like a, your traditional horror movie, it's about like a Thanksgiving with a family. Yeah. And about like the family's like dysfunctionality, and a man makes me feel like shit, and I was like, I love it. <laughs> See? Oh, okay. The waves again. Okay. Oh, oh, never mind. Oh, it's coming in. We were talking about like unnatural movement. That's a movie that's got that. Under like the, the skin. Like the underwater scenes. Yeah. Oh, you were so close. Uh, Give me that. Yeah, I, I like Under the Skin. I like, my favorite part about it is when they, she, like, some of it is, like, real people. When she's yeah. like, walking around, I was like, what an interesting idea. It's just like Nirvana the Band the Show. Yeah, maybe that's what I was, I know when I, when I was, when you first told me about Nirvana the Band the Show, I know I was like, I've seen this mechanic somewhere. <laughs> I guess, like, Andy Melanakis did it, too. Yeah, and, uh, you ever seen Kenny vs. Spenny? Oh, yeah, I've seen Kenny vs. Spenny. That is a fucking... Nauseating show. Like it is so disgusting, but it's it's like you can't. It's like a train wreck. You can't look away. I actually definitely should watch part of that. It's pretty funny. Some episodes are just absolute shit because the challenge is really boring. Oh. And they have to rely on Kenny and Spenny's comedic chops, which is not always not the best, the finest. <laughs> the best ones are tests of endurance. The competitions, <laughs> like I saw the one where can... they would like wear a squid on their head. Yeah. For the longest amount of time. That's a classic one. That's a really good episode. Uh, there was one where they stayed, like, tied to each other in a 69, and it was, like, whoever gave up first lost, and they, and neither of them would relent, so eventually their camera crew was like, uh, we'll just take a fire hose and spray it at them to, like, speed up the process. <laughs> so they, like, literally took them into, like, a public park, and they're, like, 69ing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wanna go again? All right. It's really funny. They just like take them out into a public park and just like literally like blow them across the <laughs> yard with a fire hose, and they're just like rolling. It's amazing. Oh god! Like the joy of like TV, where people are willing to go to such horrible lengths <laughs> for entertainment. I was like, yeah. I remember when I first like learned about Jackass. I was like enamored. I was yeah. like. These they can do just that. Truly injure themselves. For comedy. <laughs> I remember Sid used to come over and we would play play some Wii games yeah. and then we would watch a little bit of Jackass. <laughs> and it was like the tradition. We'd eat famous Amos cookies in a little wow. bit. We'd play Lero on the Wii and we'd always end the, the session with us crashing the game. <laughs> and then we would yeah watch Jackass. Wow, nice. Yeah, I remember having little like rituals like that go to Mitchell's house and play like Kirby Air Ride and eat fucking Swiss rolls. Yeah! Little Caesars, I feel like, is a mainstay of like our entire like group. Mm -hmm. It's a very like Woodenville thing, I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> I ate definitely ate a bunch of Little Caesars back in the day. It's a very Crazy bread. Thing. Crazy bread's too crazy for me. Just an idea. Fireball? Oh, okay. See, how can I do the move where you get hit by that and don't get hurt at all? I can, it's you. <laughs> you bury yourself in his groin. <laughs> It's all about the groin. Dude. It's all about the groin. Fuck! I, I, I touched his groin, and then I died! <laughs> his fucking massive, like, panis, his large groinal fat, <laughs> swang around. Oh yeah, we used to eat cereal. I used to go, okay, I used to go to Mitchell's house, and like, I seriously ate so much of that house's cereal. Like, his mom was just like, oh yeah, just help yourself. And I was like, 
right? You do not know what you just brought <laughs> upon yourself. yourself. Like, literally, that sentence will cost you hundreds of dollars <laughs> across your lifetime. Like, I, man, I ate so much fucking cinnamon toast crunch. Oh, cinnamon toast crunch. It was because he always had the like good cereals that are like sugary. Oh yeah, the sugary. Ones. I I mean, I had. Uh, honey bunches of oats, which is like as healthy cereals go, probably the, the best. best. Yeah, it's Easily. just amazing. Cereal tier list. Yeah, but uh, okay. I was thinking the other day, uh, do we want to delve into hot cereals? Because I'd love to discuss this. Um, like oatmeal. I t- yeah, I told you that I had Dino Egg oatmeal the other day. I bought oh, it for like nostalgic purposes, and I gotta say, it still ranks uh, very high. Very high, but not the best. I would say apple cinnamon. Of course, it's gotta oh, be a yeah. Dude, okay. Do you remember eating Quaker's oatmeal out of the bag? I was literally gonna say, in like, do you remember Boy the Boy Scouts Quaker yeah. apple cinnamon oatmeal? That shit was yeah. good. Yeah. Like, like, not even like, because we are out in the woods good. Like, just It was good. just good, yeah. And it was also a meal that you can make if you have hot water and yeah. nothing else. <laughs> you don't even need a bowl. Oh, oh, man. It's better if the water isn't quite hot enough to melt the eggs. Because mm. then you get a little bit of crunch. That's a Ding. classic thing. But, I used uh, to, speaking of cereal, I used to, like, my parents used to, like, give me, like, another helping of cereal if I finished mine. And one day I was, like, feeling greedy as shit. <laughs> and I dumped the cereal, like, hit it under the couch so I could just get <laughs> another cup. Because I just decided, like, I must have been very young. Yeah. Because I was like, I can have two cups now. <laughs> and then I ate freaking couch cereal. Wow. It was it- Lucky Charms. I used to only eat dry cereal as well. Huh. It's like when they teach monkeys about currency, and then within seconds they've got like prostitution and like extortion <laughs> and shit. You know? You learn so fast. I hate monkeys, man. It used to be that the only cereal, the only good cereal I got was like Pops or uh, fucking Honey Bunches of Oats. Also, I just want to note he swung his club at you and you tried to hit the club yep. as though it would do damage to this man. You never know. I guess you never know. He does. He, he, you know, there's not a lot of distinction between his body and the material the club is made out of. Yeah. So you could be forgiven for that. Yeah. My parents didn't really care what kind of cereal I ate, if it was sugary or not. Probably because you had decent portion control, whereas yeah. I, as a child, just went like, Argh! I was like Garfield. I think it's gonna. Yeah. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. Oh, Apparently, stupid. okay. Did you know? Uh, the reason the song is called Dare is because originally the song was called It's There, but Sean Ryder is too much of a <laughs> fucking idiot to say the word there. It sounds so right. And so they just called it Dare because he's like, It's There! <laughs> and like, he still can't sing the song, is the funniest part. Like, he still sucks ass at saying It's Dare. Oh, man. He's the last of his kind. And we're gonna all, slaughter him. All of demon kind is condensed down into this one last dude holding out hope. And now we're gonna murder him. Is he really the last demon? I think so, yeah. What if the one on the bridge we uh, kill? Yeah, I actually, no, he's not. Even after that one, he's not the last demon. But he's like the last one remaining in his home. I see. Yeah, hey, I was thinking about that time that you uh, brought just a box of sugar cubes camping. Oh my god. And we just ate it throughout the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> it was because I was doing my classic trick mm. where I uh, take a. Oh, safe zone. And then, then. Uh, where I take, here it is, where I take a fucking pen and I draw dice marks on it. This and is I, two sixes, I eat this dice. Yeah, and then I go up and I go, hey, uh, if I get anything other than, like, snake eyes, then I'll eat these dice. And then I just roll them, and I just eat them. And I walk away. That was shocking. It's good stuff. One of your shocking pr- It was, like, during your, like, actually funny prank phase. During my Jake phase, yeah. Didn't last long. I remember like walking through the hall and you're like, can you hold my laptop? And you just like, oh, yeah. threw it at the ground and it just like, exploded into pieces. I remember that. I got some people like genuinely like upset. Uh, I mean, not like mad, but they were like, oh shit, oh I'm so sorry. Like, because they thought that I re- that they really like fucking destroyed my laptop. laptop. It was a laptop I just found in the trash. Growing old fat, growing old fat. Oh fuck. Okay. That was so hard to like get yeah. out of the way of. Okay. Oh, he he did the thing where he couldn't decide who to hit, so he's like, I'll hit the space in between them. You feel like even like earlier. Fuck! What? It came out. Why did it come out from him that time? 
Also, somebody said, are y'all not using the closer bonfire? Oh my god. Which, to translate that into, like, non-douchey talk is, hey guys, there's a bonfire that's closer. <laughs> you know? Ah, uh, yes. This is good. This will save us a little time. No, yeah, it's not even a, that much of a time not, save. Like, yeah, not good. too much, but a little bit. I like that, like, rug that's at the bottom of that stairwell. It's just, like, the shittiest rug on the planet. It ties the room together. It ties the room together. I've seen the Pinkle Thousand game a long time. I was not, like, very enamored by it the first time I saw it. It was, like, a fine, but it kind of has that, like, quirky for the sake of being quirky that I think was novel then, but now it's, like, fairly common. Yeah. Can we, uh, just repeat this process over and over again, mister? Oh. Moves so often. Yeah. Oh god. Uh, Yippee! Oh. I, I got off my rhythm. I got off my rhythm and now he's just taking my Estus. You're gonna love my Estus. Classic Drew quote was he would stick out his middle finger and he would say, sit on this and rotate. What a man. Oh! Oh! What was that? Three. I jumped! Oh, oh it's this. Okay, watch this. That was his last attack. He just used up all his remaining power. Oh, shit. And now he's gonna try to hit us, but he can't even lift his club. Oh, this is so sad, actually. It's like Sif. He's the last of his kind. He just wants to survive. Is what we're doing right, Andrew? Oh, God. Are we the good guys? What is morality? Am I a good person? Wow. Anyway, gamers. That's it for today's stream. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that motherfucking <laughs> bell! <laughs> you spill the soy sauce, dude. That was so loud. <laughs> um, okay, so we can't even really... I'm just, mm, we, didn't, we didn't get a lot of souls from that. No. Was that an optional boss? Yeah. Ah, we're dead now. I liked him, like, a long time ago. And imagine my shock. When, like, a couple months ago, I found out that he's still doing stuff. Oh, yeah, no, he's still... He does, like, sort of modern reviews. He's kind of... he's He occupies quite a similar space to the AVGN. Yeah, you know, very similar. I think they're even just, on the same network or something. Where he's just very, like, yelly and screamy. These guys are weird. Oh, my God. They've got little... Floating ball? Yeah, they got, like, passive fireball friends that they can summon. Wow, oh, this guy's cool. Yeah, he's a cool dude. Wow, what a cool enemy. I don't even know what the hell it is. Bird? Yeah, yeah weird bird dragon. Okay, that feels bad, whatever you're doing. Walking. Oh, you just set another ball. Oh, hey, here's a dead Capra demon. Oh. Oh, and there's statues down there of the Taurus. Oh! That was a weird slide. I was not that hitting was any weird. direction on the control no. stick. Can we get that again? Oh! Yeah. Oh! Very interesting Capra demon right here. But there's statues of a bunch of, like, lesser demons down there. Oh! Hey, there's... <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> that sound. <laughs> oh, I'm in the stairs. Yeah. That's right. I think it's it's a really... It was, like, a weirdly good decision to make Scarlett Johansson the main character. Like, the whole thing about her, like, going out in public and people not, like, recognizing who she is because they're in, like, Greenland or whatever. Yeah, I think it's, like, rural Scotland. Yeah. What oh, the... God. I'm freaking out. I think that kind of adds to, like, the alien feeling of Yeah. It. It's very Uncanny Valley, that movie. I'm not even, like, a fan... I, I don't like a lot of horror movies. I like The Shining. I like, uh... Which is, like, I mean, if you like good movies, you like The Shining. Yeah. Uh... I think that's the problem, though, is that a lot of horror movies aren't, uh... Like people don't consider them good because they're bad. It's like it's chance. Oh, that, that was a terrible to say that. <laughs> there's a lot of bad horror. Movies. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, hey, what do you know? Or no, there's a black knight. Cool. Okay. <laughs> cool. I think he just killed all those enemies. I remember that room. Um, last year, a lot of really good horror movies came out. Like Hereditary was really good. Suspiria was godlike. Oh, oh, and oh. Mandy was my favorite movie of the year. Yeah. All those are horror movies. Oh, oh hey, it's these guys! These unfinished fucks. They're back. What oh, is... God. More bodies. More bodies. More Taurus demon corpses. They're just everywhere, they're just piled up. Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> he was like, I'm gonna do it. That's sounds, all I'm saying. It sounds like uh, from Dusk Till Dawn type Another classic. film. 
Yeah, would you consider that a horror movie? Uh, I would almost consider that a comedy. Well, the problem, I think the problem is, in my mind, when horror movies get good, it's hard for me to call them a horror movie. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, you're a special I'm guy. Flaming. Smoking. What was the point of that? It was poison. It didn't really do anything. Yeah, I rolled through it, because I'm a pro. Chomsky honk. Oh, hey. Oh, is this a jape? This ominous. This feels like a, such a jape. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> What's gonna happen? Alright. Oh, he's got a big ol' axe. Big ol' axe. And he's just walking in a circle, I think. Yep. Just a little circle. It's cool. Like a tiny circle. It's like, you remember Marvin in... Fucking life, the universe, and everything. When he's stuck on the mattress planet, and oh, he's got yeah. he's got one leg stuck in the mud, and he's like, "I'm gonna do, I'm gonna walk around in a circle for like six billion years, and then I'll do it in the other direction for another six billion years, That's just sort of biding the time till he dies." That was good. Oh god, get him out of here! Nice. He didn't drop anything. What the hell? We got a key though. Are these demons? Black Knight Sword! Oh, that's why he didn't drop me, I guess. I'm just over there. Cool. Uh, yeah, why did he just... Why was it just on the ground? He had an axe, I guess. Okay, yeah, well, that, that was that. Really in there. <laughs> cool. We're just clearing off this area. Cool. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Come on. <laughs> Piece of shit. Yeet! 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 <laughs> I don't even want to... Oh! Oh! Rats. Why did it have to be rats? Ah! Door. It's a door. Dorge. The more we say that, the more it sounds like just a foghorn. <laughs> they just get more and more bastardized. Mm. Also, do you recognize this corpse? Oh my god, is that Quaylog? It's her sister, I think. Quilana. What the hell? Yeah. The oh, and there's a smaller corpse there. I guess the girl part came out. I, I forget all their names because they're all like Quee something. Yeah. But the one that was like all sickly is the big giant spider body and then the one that's curled up next to her I think is Quilana who was the pyromancy bitch uh, that we didn't really see much of but we killed in Lost Isolith. Oh. Also, what the hell? Lava! Okay. <laughs> uh, I assume we need some sort of ring. I don't think we have said ring. D hey, did you see your Space Jam video was mentioned by Your Movie Sucks on For real? Cast? For real? Actually? What the fuck? I, legit, when I was making that video, I was like, this is the sort of thing that, like, that guy would appreciate. Mm -hmm. He loves he, that shit. He loves Enter the Void, and he loves, like, weird, like, mixes of things. Wow. So that's, that would be pretty fucking awesome. Sardonicast win. If he did mention that. Did you see the video that somebody posted of, uh, they, they re-edited the, uh, oh my fucking God. flashy intro title Holy shit! from Space Jam to make it look like it were the opening sequence from Enter the Void? That's amazing. I did not see that. Uh, oh my god! It's hilarious. I hate everything in uh, what's his name? Oh my god. Wow. Anyway, Sandy. Wow! I, I got this the hilarious seal of approval from Adam from Your Movie Sucks. Who I am I admit not like a comedy guru or anything. Wow. But that's still pretty that awesome. Is, that is so cool. I'm taking uh, two tenths credit for this for making your logo. <laughs> oh yeah, you did the, the you made the thing at the end. Somewhere in Adam from Your Movie Sucks' subconscious is the word grapefruit now. It didn't get a lot of views, but I bet somebody, like, tweeted at him or something. Yeah. It was because it was such a, like, a freaking specific reference. Yeah. The, yeah, the description says the Venn diagram <laughs> intersect of people who will get and appreciate this joke is very small. Because it's people who remember the intro to Space Jam <laughs> and also love Enter the Void. Or at least know of it. Yeah. I love it all the way. Oh. I haven't even seen it. Love it. Haven't even seen it? I haven't I haven't seen it all the way, no. I haven't seen it all the way through about this. I, I like started watching it and then was wanted to save it for later. Oh yeah. And you still haven't gotten back, still haven't gotten back to it. Chaos gem! I like oh my god. Yeah, the bliss is annoying. But uh I've been listening to Ween recently. Oh yeah, Ween's good shit. The song the the song Friends. You ever listen to that one? I'm, I've listened a to like friend's their whole... a friend who knows what being a friend is. <laughs> yeah, talking yeah. with a friend. Also, is this it? That looks totally like it. Uh, but that that song gives me "Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared" ish vibes almost. Yeah. In like how it, it's just like they're clearly not like genuine about it, but yeah. it's I don't know. 
It's always hard to tell what level of sarcasm Ween is operating on. Ween is just an enigma. I like went and like really like looked into like who they are and stuff, and it's a strange one. Fuck you, Riddler. Fuck. Fuck you, Riddler. Luckily, he's not despawning. Ah! Shit is collapsing. One of my one of my solid state drives just fell over. Oh, that was my controller. I got it. Okay, so there's a weird, hard to get item here. What the heck is that? Oh, you have to, like, wall. walk up on the thing, but this guy's impaled. Oh, sad. In his pit. Yeah. This guy's in the water. Large Titanite Shard. So I think if we had done uh, quest stuff, you remember Horus and Anri in the Road of Sacrifices? We talked to them briefly, and Horus, Horus was like, Urgh. Yeah, Horus. Friend. So they would, I, I think, if we Down did a here. certain thing, Horus would show up here, and he would be... Uh, Hollowed. Oh no. And so we would have to fight him. I, that was what I liked about the first one, is you could like encounter all these people yeah. hollowed again. And it happens in this game too, but there's like a lot of weird parameters you have to follow. Like I think we I think we might have dropped Seagward's quest. I think he died at the bottom of a well. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, maybe we can in investigate that. I'll I'll look into that off off stream. But that's right. Patches put him in the well. Yeah. Okay. Back to this. A friend who knows what being a friend is, and then they have like a weird like house remix of it that they also <laughs> made and released on their friends EP. It's very strange. Like twelve golden country greats is like the perfect level of incredibly ironic and also yeah. incredibly genuine. Yeah. They like True. it's called that because they like met up with like twelve golden Fuck. country greats. Yeah, they well they. Like, just got a bunch of, like, pro-country musicians. Oh, it's one of these little corpses that's going like, OH, MY HEART! Oh. Look at him. Oh, oh, he is actually doing, oh, my heart. Okay. Two of these guys might be a bit more trouble. Yeah, perhaps. Perhaps so. Prepare for trouble! And make it double! Jesse. James! James! <laughs> I fucking love Team Rocket. Can I just say, like, in terms of, like, cheesy cartoon villains, they, like, hit the perfect spot. They are top tier. Like, when I... I didn't watch the Pokemon anime as a kid, but I, like, always heard about Pokemon as a kid. Yeah. Uh, I got into the Pokemon anime when I was, like, probably, like, 18 or something. I, like, started watching it, and I was like, damn, this is actually, like, a pretty fun show. I just never to really watch. watched it all. And, uh, I, yeah, I didn't watch all of it, but... I watched a lot of it on Netflix, and it, it was really good. It's just like a fun... Just fun. Yeah, it's just, it's not that crazy, but it's just, it kind of feels nostalgic, even though I didn't watch it as a child. It's got that sort of quality to it. Oh, you piece of shit. I guess he respawned. I guess so. Okay, the rat room it is. Oh! Whoa. Ground? Where are you? Oh, little fright in. Oh, I hear something. Oh, basilisks! I heard like the... <laughs> Oh no, don't curse. Get out of there, get out of there. Don't curse. Like, curse is, it doesn't like instant kill you in this game. Right? I think it does. Oh shit. Okay, more lava. Oh, yes. and a dude. Oh. Wait, what the hell? Knight Slayer Sorig. Okay. Well, we're a knight, so there's a conflict here. Okay. Well, you're not taking damage, you're just getting... Oh, he parried oh, you. Or damn. I think you got posture broke. And he, oh. Uh, my thanks! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this, there's no way. Oh my god. Not in the oh. They're big lads. Oh, I'm stuck! Oh, yeah. So we're night friends. Yeah. Can, can you kick him off the ledge? Kick him in. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> there I was he goes. actually trying to do that for once. Darkness in silence. Oh, this is a real ass one. Yeah, this the is night. like an actual snake eater. Oh. With a fear it. My heart! <laughs> That you're so supreme! Yeah, where are we? This place is... Oh, this is a ballista! Oh, ballista! Okay, oh fuck. There oh, I don't... Go. I don't want to die, though. I think the ballista still aims at you while you're here. There's like these breakable walls, which makes me think yes. Oh, that's it rotating. Oh, oh god. Oh, it's so menacing. I don't know the lore behind it. Presumably there is lore. Maybe... It was probably set up by the Black Knights. And that's why all the demons are dead. Slaughtered. Yeah. Bones! Skeletons! I think we're gonna meet some old friends here. Some old 
friends. Yeah. I'm having an old friend. Hey, bone wheels. Bone there bone he bone is. Bone wheels. Pew, pew, pew. Everything's fine. It's definitely the end. It's just fine. Yeah, yeet. No, not yeet. No, anti yeet. No! I died. Oh, man. I got fucking stuck between a rock and a fuck face. Stuck between Damn it, that was like the last enemy before the ballista, too. Get him. Yeah! Oh, he's I don't know if he's gonna. Off. Maybe when he gets up. Come on. Oh no. Oh, the basilisk oh, followed shit! you. Oh no! Well, it was you, me you, who, you go again. It was me who got japed. No! Wow. My God. Right, give me that fucking thing. I suck ass. No more mulligans. I suck ass. <laughs> it could happen to anybody. You got fucked over by the uh, the targeting. It curved around. I suck ass. <laughs> my ass is being sucked. <laughs> Wait, so you suck ass or your ass is being sucked? It's like human centipede. Oh, look at him. Oh, look at him. He's trying to climb the ladder. <laughs> He doesn't get it. When you're walking. I keep moving my feet, but I don't go no further. Oh, he's gonna go fuck up those basilisks. Like you son of a bitch. Oh my god, he's actually fucking him up. Alright. Yeah, get him! Alright, I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> I finished I Twin Peaks and I was so sad, somebody says in chat. I've, I've like, never gotten into Twin Peaks, and it's like a shame because I, like, David Lynch seems like it yeah. should be so up my alley. Oh yeah, definitely. But I've, like, never been the biggest David Lynch fan. Like, even, like, Mulholland Drive and stuff, I'm always like, okay. Uh, Twin Peaks is awesome. It gets really bad in like the second season. I think I, I made it through all of season one. Season one is really solid. And uh, somebody said like just skip all the motorcycle scenes in season two, <laughs> yeah. and that you're fine. I just, I just want to get on my bike and ride. <laughs> that one fucking character that nobody gives a shit about. That like ninety percent of the scenes centered around. I hated that guy. I don't even remember his name. And I heard the new season is really good. Like, yeah. really, and, and some people have even told me, like, Oh, whoa, oh, oh, did you oh, see that oh, man? Oh, he just zooped the fuck out of here. here. Like, somebody was like, even if you don't like the other ones, you'll love the new season, just watch huh. it. Because I love surreal bullshit. <laughs> Can you just go yeet through the wall, please? Yeah. Take a lesson from the skelly bone and just freaking go away. Wow, he's flipping all over the place. I just Star patient. Wars 2 over here. <laughs> what the fuck? Where do you go? Okay, oh, he's right there. He's just walking behind you. Walk. Wow, he's just all flying over the all place. over the place. Fucking stand still! Oh, hey, this used to be run by giants. Oh. Are you okay? He's not okay. <laughs> a little dust comes off his head. So the ballista is now trying desperately to do things. Whoa! But I don't think it's working. Yeah, this is awesome. This is like Bloodborne shit. Just turn it off. Fuck oh, like yes! All right, so I guess there was nobody actually shooting. Okay. It was just an automated thing. How they made a machine that this caliper. How they made a machine that works mostly by just cogs turning, heat seeking. I don't know, but <laughs> yeah. that's you know maybe it's magic. But Ooh. now we're free. Yes. Okay. I think we're I, free of the damn ballista. Yeah, I'm I'm fine with uh, calling this area good for now. Yeah, I'm down. I don't really know where else we can go. There's a cool place that we can go to that we need a certain item to get to, and I. I don't think we have access to it until after we beat the dancer. We could take a little gander in DLC town. I don't even know how to activate the DLC, the Ringed City, the one that I haven't done yet. I'm the Night Slayer Slayer. Oh, wait. Did he this leave? One, this is one chance. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh! Come around the mountain when he comes. Oh, wow. I stuck that through the nothingness above his head. Allow me to show you how to strafe. Fool. You've never seen a hat this big. You could never dare wear a hat this oh. big. Fuck it. In front of oh me. no! Oh my god! No! Oh! oh. 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 Okay. Mustache shape. Oh, oh. No, no, no! 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 Here's a question for you. Thank you. <laughs> is Boggle a roguelike? I think it is. What the fuck? I, I think it is a roguelike. Like, think about it. Boggle? It's like a randomly generated game where, like, the, the rules are the same, but the challenge is different. When you lose, you go you go back to the beginning. It's a roguelike. Oh, can I... Mmm. Oh, this is easy. Kick him. Let me think here. Let me think real hard. Oh, no! <laughs> Kick him in that larva. Fuck. He's gonna do the big thing. 
did one too many roll. My hat is in the way. Small price to pay for the most powerful hat in all of Alderaan. That's very, very true. Ye oh, no. He protects even from kicks. Oh! I want to kick him into the lava so bad. I don't know if, you, if any of you in chat understand how bad I want <laughs> this. Oh, my oh, God. That just didn't, didn't even feel like it hit me. I want to fight this guy. Yeah, it feels like we're not really going to get much. You can go wherever you want. Um. Yeah, the trees will try to attack you. What the? They summon flames. That's cool. Oh, it's a bonbon! Bon. Well, that was convenient. Awesome. Oh, and there's a big old bridge. Oh, we're near... Yeah, you just made a lot of progress. Cool. Damn, I remember that beginning area of this game, or of this, like, DLC section taking way longer when I first played it. Yeah, I just kind of, like, booked it through. But, yeah, there might be more to do. to go the right way. Take a gander up there. Whoa. This is a very reminiscent of the, uh... Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> Donkeys, it's scary when I do this. <laughs> oh, it's reminiscent of the first painted world, I think. It's probably just a nice, nice guy, nice dude. Oh, those, that's like the guy we talked to in the beginning. Yeah, sweetly rotting bed to lie upon, that yeah. guy. Gross. Yeah, they are, oh god, oh, I don't like the mouths that are all yeah, fused nice. together. What say ye? You look to be on Kindle. This guy's got an awesome oh, cool voice. voice. Yeah. He said, no bell tolls, and yet you've slipped into the painting. The words of Lady Frida will guide you. Now go on inside, show respect, and listen carefully. Cool. Yeah. That thing about no bell tolls, it, it's kind of implying that getting entry to the painted world is usually activated by some sort of bell, kind of like the Bell of Awakening. Interesting. Kind of like the bell in this game that summoned the Lords of Cinder from their graves, etc. Cool. Oh, that, there's, those bonfires were not very far apart. Yeah. So look at all these pictures around the room. It's all of her. Yeah, they're all of this, this one bitch. Narcissistic fuck. You bastard ahead, therefore time for beating to a pulp. Let me out of here. Time for critical <coughs> hits. I it's fine. It's a statue of her. You'll be fine. Oh, she looks kind of creepy. Welcome to the painted world of Ariandel. Okay. I am Frida. Who's the Blessed Father? Well, we haven't met him yet. Ah. So she okay. knows. She knows where the unkindled one. She's like, go do the thing. You gotta do the thing. Leave me alone. Okay, she's like, use it to get the hell out of here. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. Attic. This is a cool room, too. I don't think we can do much here. We can watch the guy trash stuff. <laughs> Time for time. Oh, gross. There's an NPC here that that was being creepy towards. There's yeah, she's got a thing. I see. Chill bite. Chill bite. Hell yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, you got something else for me? <laughs> no, okay. No. okay. Well, there's another door over here. <laughs> Let me try giving that give that bridge a whack. Yeah, there it goes. Ah. I think this might be another bridge we can climb down. Wait, just wait, yeah. Cool. Yeah. I think. I switch action touch was. Descend. Descend. There we go. I knew it was something like that. So how the fuck do you slide down that? I don't get what's going on there. Yeah, you're like, hold on to the ropes. ropes. Oy. Yeah, this is kind of a tricky part. There's a guy. Oh, shit. You just want to be careful, because I think some things shoot at you here, which is not a great place to get shot not at, I know. Not a great place to get shot at. Wow, is that guy going to fall off or what? Idiot. <laughs> uh, oh, hey. Bon. Bonfire. That was good, uh... It's good that we did that. <laughs> yeah, actually. Oh, a bonbon. How convenient. Okay. That is scary. Oh, oh. oh <laughs> right. So they shoot arrows, and then the arrows stay there for a second, and then they explode. Oh, I see. And that's what the big boom is. And that's why you gotta just keep moving. Oh, okay. oh shit. Oh, 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 oh get, get, oh, oh. oh, what a madman! He's healing at a time like this. Holy shit. Okay, just get, get down. Oh, 
just run past this lad. And just go to the go to the bonbon. Bon. It's not it's not worth fighting this guy. Oh he had a big bow. Okay. <laughs> that was awesome. That was amazing. That was a little frightening. To coin a term that was slick. slick. Oh, and there's the body of the guy that we dumped down here. <laughs> His legs are like broken at bad angles. Destroyed. Peter. Oh, Peter. Hell yeah. That oh, that's awesome. Funny. I remember getting down those branches took me so fucking long, and you just did it in your first try. Hey, time for crap. <laughs> this place is cool. It's very, like, white. Yeah. Yeah, I love white things. White I don't know why, good. I'm just predisposed. Hmm. What could this be? <laughs> this is cool with all these, like, little flowers. Yeah. Oh. There he is. Oh wait, he's got a freaking dog. I remember this fight being really fucking hard, actually. Or not really fucking hard, but like, taking quite a few tries. Even though it didn't feel terribly difficult. Got like a lion shield. Oh, oh what the fuck? <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> oh. Are you kidding me? It's the posture break. Dang it. Wow, sad. Do you want to go into the... Oh no, you can go. All right. Hand me your dogs. I think, I seem to remember there's a way to lure the dogs out without uh, getting the attention of the Ooh, that was sick! Yeah, that was sick. Okay. That's not a champ. Here's the second phase. Uh, you just... You're probably gonna... Want to oh, take this shit! In. <laughs> oh, what the fuck?! <laughs> it's another fucking Sith! Oh, it's Sith 3, baby! Oh, God. <laughs> I was like, what, what, what is going <laughs> Dog. Oof. I was like, this doesn't seem too hard. There's gotta... Yeah, right? There's gotta be something. I kind of gave it away because I was like, oh, this is such a cool boss. And then I was like, shit, it looks like a really lame. lame boss for the first phase. Well, the, the, like, the little hint said like something about like pincer maneuver. And I was like, oh, but then it was just dogs. And I was like, yeah. Oh. Otacon, there's both cool ranch and nacho cheese Dorito shells here. <laughs> Should ask the customer, Snake. Oh my god! Rip. Oh my god! Oh my! Oh! Oh! There we go! Oh. There we go! Oh! Alright, well, we got way further into the DLC than I thought we would. We got pretty to deep be in there, actually, yeah. We got like three bonfires in. It seems like a valid place to go now, too. Yeah. It's an ST4. Damn crack. <laughs> yeah, there it is again. Oh, we can get back to that time. Hot damn. We played one word from it. Anyway, we're gonna go.